Alright. I had a really good time with the family, saw them for New Year's, uh, spent some time here hanging out with friends, taking care of some business. I gotta go back to Asia. Um, I don't know if this is the smartest decision I've ever made, but uh, before I came here for Chinese New Year, before I came back to New York for Chinese New Year, I have always planned on only coming back for like a week or so and then heading back to Asia. And that's why I left a bunch of clothing, bunch of uh, camera gear, computer gear back in Asia, back in Japan, because this was just supposed to be a temporary trip to see the family and then I had to go back there. Like the, this week and a half that I've been in the US, this thing has just gone crazy. I was supposed to go for several months, but I think I'm gonna go for a couple of weeks. Um, one is because I booked everything already, everything is paid for. I feel like if I don't go now, the situation is gonna get much worse and I won't be able to go at all. If you're traveling, keep safe and by the time you're watching this video, um, I should be almost out of Asia, so uh, if you are planning a trip in, I know a lot of people have been telling me they're going in the next month or so, uh, just evaluate the situation for yourself, and I'll do my best to tell you about what's happening on the ground. All right, right now, I'm gonna fly to San Francisco. I'm gonna spend a couple of nights there um, just to take care of some things, and then go to Taiwan. Okay. I like Jeeps. Nice. I walked in and I asked him if I could just take this car, the Jaguar. So they're checking right now if I could just have it. That'd be cool. I never drove the Jaguar. Look at this. It's so pretty. Oh, they give me the Jaguar. They they told me they don't they don't do this ever. It's not like they knew me. They're just them being really nice to me. So, thank you so much, National. This is so so cool. This. That's how you ship in this car. Weather is so nice here. All right, so um, I was wearing this on the plane. And then after we landed, so many people came up and said hi. Thank you so much for coming up and say hi. Awesome meeting you guys. But how'd you recognize me? I'm like a ninja right now. I mean, you know it's me now, but if I'm just walking by like this, you, you recognize me? Anyway, really nice meeting you guys. All right, I'm here to get my international driver's license from AAA. For those of you who think about driving internationally, obviously, if you're going to Japan, a lot of places you can't access um, by train or by taxi, especially in Japan, actually. This is why I'm getting it. Get your international driver's license, like 20 bucks. Uh, just gotta learn how to drive on the other side of the road. Forgot they needed two pictures, but I might have those passport photos. If you remember what I'm talking about, let's see. Passport, I think, oh, here they are. Remember these? My K pop photos? That's right, two of these. There we go, international driver's license. Now I'm free to explore and possibly get really scared driving on the other side. Never done it before. All right, so back in, uh, this is Fremont. Well, this is my favorite dumpling shop when I used to live here. Ding Ding Dumpling. I wanna try out a couple different dumpling shops today just to see which one's the best in case there's a better place in this now. I gotta find it. It's already got a line. Like not even opening it. Wow, this is a really expensive soup dumpling. Nine for eight piece. Wow, thirteen for this is gonna be about seven, eight dollars in New York City maximum. And then you gotta get a steamed dumpling. I forgot which one is good. I'll ask. Alright, got the soup dumplings. They they look they look flat. Like somebody needs to pump more air in a tire kind of look. Like a deflated Michelin man. Kind of, kind of vibe. That's not good. This is like, I don't remember it being like this. All right, there's a lot of juice in here. Mm. The flavor is so good. I mean, just what I remembered. It's porky. It's smooth. It's fatty. It's so flavorful. It's great. Um, I just wish it didn't look like a flat tire. This dumpling is definitely retaining soup. And I love soup dumplings because it's such a intimate eating experience. You know, you got to nibble on it a little bit. Suck the innards out. And then 
Just be one with it, you know? Amazing. I love steamed dumplings here. They're so soupy as well. Gotta be careful. Plumpy, mm. soupy dumpling. Mm. I love their steamed dumplings. Oh my god, it's so good. That the shrimp and pork, a lot of filling, a lot of juice. I love their steamed dumplings here. You gotta get this when you come here. Last one, chocolate dumpling. Chocolate soup dumpling. I hope it's like very runny because that makes it better. I hope it's not like custardy. Let's see. Oh, I like it. It tastes more like the New York version. Nutella, banana inside. It's more chocolatey than the New York version. Mm. It's way sweeter than the New York version. It's not as good as the New York version. The skin is thicker and it's a little too sweet, but it's still not bad. All right, now dumpling place number two. Dumpling spot number two, Bing's Dumpling. Holy but Jesus! You see, this is like a stork delivering a dumpling baby. Look at all the stuff that's in here, the shoes, the meat. It's actually heavy in my hands. This is a plump dumpling. Wow, oh my God, it's just like a lake of juice. Mm. That is good flavor too. Oh wow, I love this. I gotta say, the flavor is not as good as Ding Ding Dumpling. Like the umaminess is not there. It's missing, like it's a little bland, like which is really weird. I never had soup dumpling that's like, not flavorful enough. This is not flavorful enough. It's just not. It's so nice though. It's so plump and juicy. I, I was hoping, I was really wishing it well. It was more dumpier dumpling than ding ding. But the noodle looks good. Oh, that's good. Initially, the noodle tastes good, but after a few bites, it still lacked flavor for me. So they said to try the Piam noodle, which is supposed to be really good here. Mm. Much better. Much, much better. Get this when you come here. This is the noodle to get here. Much, much better. Wow, this is actually pretty excellent. Mm. I'll give up for them for this. Springy, chewy, saucy, really good sauce. Everything I like in my Bian Bian. Not that out of park with this one. Gotta end the night with some kakigori. If you've never had kakigori before, it's like the best shaped ice. No, Japanese shaped ice. That looks like Nam Fuji. It is the best shaved ice in the world. This place sells it. Mm. Wow. Best shaved ice. It's just, it's just like, it literally is like eating a cloud. I mean, I don't know what a cloud tastes like, but I imagine it'd be like this. All fluffy, melty, and sesame -y. <laughs> Heading to Taiwan today, and this place is I think it's open. It's kind of near where I where I needed to get some stuff. But it's something you don't find a lot in Taiwan or Japan. So I gotta get my fill before I head over. This is gonna be probably one of the most uncomfortable flights. I'll ever experience. You'll see why in a sec. Again, being back in the Bay Area, lots of memories. I mentioned this before, but living here was like the happiest time of my life. I really enjoy living in this area. It's just so beautiful, you know? I mean, not the city itself, it's like a cesspool, but the surrounding area is so pretty. I just realized I made a critical error. I just didn't register. I'm flying out of SFO and I'm flying with United today. That lounge with all the food you can order, it's here. Why did I eat a whole bowl of I'm eating again anyway. This lounge will not go uneaten. Eat deterred. I'm gonna go eat there.
kitchen dinner. Timber and chicken wings, shrimp skewer, sourdough. Let's take a burger, please. Thank you. This is like the best airport lounge burger. Toasted warm bun with a thick, with big slices of bacon, melty cheese, and egg on top. Look at that thick patty. Look at that thing. Oh man, this is such a monster burger. Mm. Restaurant quality burger. This is a better burger than I get at most burger shops. Everything about this I love. So much creaminess from the cheese and the egg. At the same time, a little crunch from the greens and the bacon. And the fries are good too. You can taste that they aged the meat too. This is really incredible. Best burger you'll ever find in the airport. Huh, I don't know about that. All right, give that honors to like the Turkish airline lounge in uh, Istanbul. But definitely best lounge burger in the world. About my flight being really uncomfortable. <sighs> I'm gonna wear this the whole time. It's really hard to breathe. But I'd say precautions, you know? It's already getting hot in here. First time flying United Business Class all the way to Asia. This is what a typical seat looks like. Star Wars. What? Welcome aboard. Yes. Ooh. Menu already. There's a little compartment over here. Blanket. Oh my god, memory foam pillow. It's the first time on a flight I ever had a, a memory foam pillow before. Big TV screen. So a little tray here for your stuff. The the seat okay. It's not a lot of space and it's one of those configurations where your arms are like if you're sitting on one of the these seats that are near the aisle that has the opening to the aisle it's pretty narrow so if you lean too much people might bump into you but overall it's not a lot of space definitely not as cozy as even i think eva airlines uh, let's see what we got here star wars interesting my patch oh what is this <laughs> sunday <laughs> riley I no idea what this is Oh, okay, so there's a bunch of creams inside. Box, toothbrush, earplug, napkin. Okay, so there's really no like, it's just all Star Wars branding, but... I don't know about you, but I was expecting a toy or something. Smoked duck, very typical. Seared beef short rib, three cup chicken. Ginseng chicken bowl, pan fried codfish. Chicken bowl, pan fried codfish. Don't go with the short rib. supposed to be like a mini Death Star or something? I feel like I've had smoked duck on every single flight I've been on this past year. still what? Whoa, this short rib. This is softer than most short ribs I've had in restaurants. Bravo, United Airlines. My Sunday is good. This is their, their uh, signature United Airlines Sunday. Watch Little Charlie's Angels. I know this is a movie, but um, I'll tell you what. I, I am rooting for my Asian brother right here to, to get the get the white girl. Uh, that's 100% rooting for the man. You know, Asian male, white female, Asian male, black female, Asian male, brown female. It just needs to happen more often. Just saying. So obviously the virus has everybody on nerves, like scanners at the airport are very tight. There's warnings everywhere about this. Um, the best thing you can do is uh, wear a mask. This is actually required here. So I'm going to my Airbnb and I was told that if I didn't have a mask, I wouldn't be able to get into my Airbnb building. So if you are traveling to Taiwan, make sure you bring some masks. And of course, just like wash your hands all the time. I got tons of hand sanitizer I'm using. Anyway, finally here. I was supposed to actually be here for about a month after I leave Japan, but because this whole thing, uh, I'm only spending about uh, less than a week here. So after this, i um, gonna head to Japan and spend about three weeks over there and we'll see how the situation is. All right, here we are, Taipei. And this is as pretty as I remembered it. I haven't been here in years. Oh man. I wish I could stay longer. I wish I came earlier. This is like 
right by 101. So this is one of the bedrooms. This is like a luxury condo in Taipei. Bathroom's kind of short. Like seriously, I, like my head could hit that and I'm not that, look at this. I'm not that tall, just saying. Second bathroom. Little bedroom. Oh, it's pretty nice. It's definitely not made for Americans, for sure. All right, gotta get some food. Didn't really eat much on the plane. First meal on Taipei. All right, going for a hot pot. Uh, some kind of like really medicinal, warm your body up. It's actually kind of chilly here in Taipei. All right, this place is open till like 2 a.m. Wu Lao. Wu Lao. Go. Wu Lao go. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, layered tofu hot pot. This is so cool. Wulao mala. <gasps> yeah, this is a spicy wulao hot pot. So they have a ice cream tofu hot pot. That's pretty insane. I love Taiwan all their specialty pots. It's so cool. All right, so this is the ice cream, <laughs> ice cream tofu. And uh, okay, we got our, we got our two broths. This is spicy and this is the broth. This is the spicy and this is the herbal one. Oh, okay, okay. So she just put in the, the, the ice cream tofu thing, which is made out of tofu and squid. This is definitely pig's blood. Garlic, pig's blood, frozen tofu. Um, we got jujubes. There's at least 12 or so ingredients in here. And on this side, you got, it's more herby. So you got a whole ginseng. Oh my God, this is expensive stuff. Logan. This is so, this looks so like, like healthy for you. And this is really neat. They have the extra broth right on, right here by your table. So you, once this gets low, you just pour it in. Ooh, this broth smells so good. Wow. That's amazing, bro. I mean, it's herby, but also so thick. I think it's pork. It's so thick and rich. Oh, nice and creamy. Like if you have a head cold or knock on with the flu, this will really, really help you. Wow. I mean, it's just so smooth. You can taste all the different herbal elements in here. This is the little um, ice cream tofu uh, squid thing. Kind of lost its shape. Whoa. Oh, this is so unique. It tastes like almost like a steamed egg. With like, Little bits of uh, meat and squid mixed in here. Mmm, yeah, it's so soft. Like when you, when this is one of the, those things when you put it in your mouth, like you chew it and then more flavors pop up. Like you taste the squid, some sort of other meat in here. The textures change a little bit too. A little bits of uh, chewiness from the squid. I think it was like five dollars a bite, but it actually does taste really creamy and a little sweet, almost like an ice cream. I can see why they call that now. Hmm. That meat is so tender. Wow, so tender. And the seasoning they use here for the sauce, it's not a lot of stuff. It's not thick. Like typically, a lot of sauces and hot pot be really thick. It's very soupy, but it's very nice. It's got more of a citrusy flavor because you add the vinegar. I got the maximum spicy. It's not even that spicy, but everything is like flavor so well. I mean, this is a really unique hot pot. I love hot pot in Taiwan. The way they cook it. The stuff they put in the broth, it's just so unique, you know? At the end, they give you like uh, melon-shaped ice. And you can get two two jars of this. Let's give you a little shot cup. I like this place. It's so nice. Mm. <sighs> All right. This is just dinner number one. Let's keep going. I've been in Ningxia Night Market now. I've been in a Taiwanese Night Market in so long. Wow, this is this is a nyo kong rou fan. Wow, that is tender pork belly. Mmm, that is tender. A little sweet, all sorts of umami. It's soy sauce based, so they braise this sucker for a long, long time. Mm. Hot oil is needed. What I love about this is. All that juice is covers the rice. Mm, rice becomes spectacular. Little bits of chilies. It's perfect. You gotta have some chilies with this, otherwise it might be too much. Mm. 
So happy to be here.